Today, I encountered a new cool AI model and a tool which generates depth maps and is called Depth Anything. Depth maps are pretty cool to use in Affinity Photo, so let's take a look how we can use these generated depth maps. To generate the depth map, we can go to the Hugging Face website and upload our image. Link will be in the description. Once our image is loaded, press Generate and the depth map will appear quite quickly. I'll move the slider aside and right click on the colored depth map image and select copy. Let's switch to affinity and press the paste keyboard shortcut. The depth map is now in affinity photo. A very good use case for a depth map is to use it as a mask. First, let's convert it to a black and white image using my favorite method, which is adding a channel mixer and setting the mode to gray. Also, let's make sure this adjustment is only applied to the depth map by making it a child layer of it. We could rasterize this to a mask, but I like to keep things non-destructive as possible. To have it act like a mask, I'm going to use the Erase Blend mode on it. Now everything is erased, but we can control what is being erased by opening up the Blend options and adjusting the source blend range. We can either keep the blacks or the whites. Let's keep the whites for now. Keep in mind that because we are using the Erase Blend mode, it acts as an opposite of a mask. So in this case, the brighter areas in the depth map will erase more. After we give it a name, let's put the mask into use. For example, we can add an exposure adjustment. Before making any changes, I'll move the depth mask as a child to the exposure adjustment. So the depth mask is only applied to the exposure adjustment. If I now lower the exposure, notice how only the exposure of the background is being affected. Pretty awesome. This is a very quick and easy hack to bring the main subject into the attention of the viewer. Because we work non-destructively, I can open up the channel mixer and adjust the intensity or the alpha to fine-tune the strength of the depth mask. Here is the before and here is the after. I have overdone a bit for demonstration purposes. Usually a slight change in the exposure would be more than enough. The current depth mask we created applies to the background. Let's add an HSL adjustment and lower the saturation and make sure it will apply to the foreground or in this case to our main subject. To achieve that, I'll copy the depth mask, paste it and make it a child of the HSL adjustment we just created. I'll open up the blend options and invert the blend curve. This way, the HSL adjustment will now apply to the foreground. When we open up the HSL adjustment and change the saturation, notice how it indeed mainly applies to the elephant in the front. Time to finalize the HSL by lowering the lightness. Now I can set the blend mode to luminosity and we're done. Pretty cool. I hope you liked this quick video and thanks again for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Until the next video.